Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FCEL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer a quick explanation video there. So if you go there, I will explain in detail. I did this analysis on Tuesday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from here. But after today's price movement, I don't know if update's the right word, but definitely some points of confirmation here. The one little minor update I do want to do is bring this area of resistance down to the, we'll call it point, one, let's just round it up to 32 cents. I was going to say point one three. Um, or 0.319, excuse me, but like I said, we'll just call it 32. And this comes about now that we have more data and on the you know the bounce this morning, the price essentially got right up around that area and then you factor that in where the price has struggled before. So yeah, in the very near term, 32 cents has certainly proved uh, to be that stubborn area where there are sellers sitting up right around that area. So 32 cents, like I said, a little minor update there as that, that current level of resistance. But really the, the, the big dynamic, and this will mean more to those of you that watched your video from Tuesday, uh, but for those of you that did, and if not, I'll just you know quickly you know uh, recap it. But I talked extensively about that uh, pink line there, which on my chart is denoting the very famous 200 period moving average. And I said, you know, it's pretty much the price just struggled, struggled, struggled with it all afternoon long. And then you jump to today, and during the early part of the day, the price was actually able to break up above that level. The problem is the price was never able to stay up above it. And as soon as the price fell right back below it, well then once again, almost a case of deja vu, the price has now begun to struggle at that level. So the 200 period, once again, has gone right back into resistance mode. Now I, I would fully agree that it got weakened up because the price at, you know, this morning, like we pointed out, did actually get up above that level. But even if it's a weakened level of resistance, it's still a level of resistance nonetheless. So that remains you know, public enemy number one. And yeah, 31 cents is very, you know, it's quickly becoming that very stubborn and annoying level, uh, but it is what it is. So the good news is it's not like the price closed, you know, below it. I mean, the price essentially closed right at that level. So it's not unreasonable to think that the price very well could make another go at 32 cents on Thursday or Friday. So we'll have to see what happens in that regard. As far as levels of support are concerned, still have 30 cents down here as that area of support and actually got a beautiful bounce off that earlier on in the day. So we'll see what happens with this one as time goes on. Uh, but yeah, still stuck within the overall channel here. Uh, but yeah, as of now, that 200 period moving average, definitely kind of the thorn in the side of any sort of uh, you know continued upwards movement. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.